Hello then, uh, good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuela from uh, Curval.com and uh, today I want to show you how to create uh, a calendar in uh, DAX. So we have been creating calendars in Power Query. I prefer to do it there, but there might be reasons why you would like to do it in DAX instead. And uh, for that you have two functions to do it. So I thought that uh, I'll show you. So the first thing I do when I'm going to create a um, DAX uh, function is to look it up and see what it does and how it's built. So let's do that. What I normally do is I search for it. So calendar, auto, and then I write DAX. And that 99% of the time gives me the right uh, link. So if we look at calendar auto, here you have a, an explanation of how it's built and what it does. So it says here, it returns a table with a single column name date that contains a continuous set, set of dates. Uh, the range of dates is calculated automatically based on data in the model. So for this demo, we're going to use our North Wind Power BI um, data source. I will post the link to, to the file if you want to download it and to the video so you know what it is. And uh, what Calendar Auto is doing is just going and look into the sources available and then it picks the first date and the last date and it creates a calendar. So it's just very straightforward. Um, to do that, you click on modeling and then a new table. And then you can write date table. That would be the name of the table. And then you just write calendar auto. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. You press enter. And let's see where it went here. So here you have it. So the first uh, date is uh, January 1st, uh, 96, 1996. And then the last is uh, 31st of December, 98. And that's it. So then you have a date table. Now you have to build the month and the day and the year month and all that kind of things. Now there is another function that is called calendar. Let's look it up also. So we go and write calendar and then DAX. So, and what you can do with this is you can set the dates that you want. So you can say, I wanted to, I wanted to start in uh, 1996, first on June, but I wanted to end in uh, 2016, first of September, something. So th that's the difference uh, of uh, what it actually can do. And here you have the syntax on how it would actually look like. So we can copy that. Again, new table. We call it date two. And we will create a calendar from 2005, the 1st of January to 2015, uh, December 31st. So, and if we do the send it, December 31st. So uh, let's continue reading because you can do something else with the um, calendar function, you can actually refer to a column on a table and say, okay, give me the uh, earliest uh, date on the sales table or the latest date on the forecast table. And this is very, very useful, I think, um, especially if you need to do custom calendars. So let's do that. So we're going to say that instead of date, we want to have the latest day on the order stable 
Anis order date. That's fine. So. And now he's complaining because uh, the latest order date is 1998. And he says that this cannot be after that. So let's say 1996. So, so now he's giving me the latest date is May 98. Let's go to our orders table and see if that's true. And that is May 1996. So it works. Um, there is one last thing you can do. I mean, in Power Query, you know, you do um, all the transformation steps like we have done in here for our um, date table. I can show you. Let's go there. So once you've done all the steps to create a proper calendar, what you can do is go into Advanced Editor and then copy this into a new calendar. Now, if you are doing this in DAX, suddenly you get only, let's go back to our calendar, you get only the date and you will have to build the month, uh, the year and the year month and all that stuff by hand, which it will take you a lot of time and probably will put you off to do it like this. But you can do actually the same way. Um, I have an example here. So you can specify the date the way you want it and then you can uh, add the columns uh, like year month number month sort and that uh, in um, in one measure so let me show you how that works we copy that and we create a new we call it date And we write, and here you have it. So once you have decided how you want your calendar to look like, you can save that and reuse it. You can um, save this, for example, as a Power BI template, and uh, you will have a calendar in DAX always. So I hope uh, you enjoyed today's video and uh, if you like it, please let me know. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact me on the comment box or Twitter or uh, any channel that you prefer. And uh, please subscribe. I produce about a video a week or at least a video a week. Have a great evening. Bye.